Palmer is no stranger to politics, serving as a city council member from 2010 to, to, to 2014. And tonight, she's defending a donation made to a group that's made headlines lately. The removal of four Confederate era monuments in New Orleans made national headlines last spring, and a debate still rages on across the country. Should more monuments come down? During our hot seat city council debates, which are airing Sunday nights, we asked District C candidate Kristen Palmer this question. Would you support the discussion to possibly remove more monuments in the city of New Orleans? Yes, yes or no? That response drew sharp criticism from fellow candidate incumbent Nadine Ramsey. Unlike my opponent, who is a member of the Monumental Task Force, which advocated up to the Supreme Court that the monuments are not removed. It's hypocritical to say now I will listen and study further. Were you a member of the Monumental no, Task Force? No, I'm, I'm kind of confused what she's referring to. Did you, I am well, not. Did you ever pay any dues to the Monumental no, Task Force? I did not. Okay, thank you. So, But these documents from Palmer's 2011 campaign finance report prove otherwise. That year records show while Palmer served on the city council, she paid a $50 membership fee to the Monumental Task Committee. Did you make a donation to the Monumental Task Committee years ago? I actually did in 2011. And why is that? Well, in 2011, they were actually cleaning and restoring a monument called Margaret Hawhey. And actually, it was the second monument made to a woman in the entire country. And so it was it really meant a lot, I think, to me as a woman. The MTC gained notoriety this year when they did take legal action, trying to keep some monuments up. Palmer says her donation had nothing to do with that. My opponent brought it up and it was kind of disingenuous of her to try to link it to the issues of the Confederate monuments. This was happened in 2011. Palmer says while she was in office, she made donations to more than 100 charities and nonprofits. Once again, she did not make another donation to the monument group after 2011.